Hello, hello, it's Wednesday. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so last night I did an event and, uh, and I was able to display some products that I made. And one of those products was the Sweet Dreams Lavender Spray, which everybody loves, um, including me. Uh, this is a spray that you can use on your pillow at night um, to help you calm down. It's calming, it's relaxing, it sets you in the right mood for sleep. Um, wonderful to use on your children, sprayed on their pillows, sprayed on their stuffies or their loveys, whatever it is they snuggle with at night. It just gets everyone um, ready for bed and puts everyone in a calming place, which is what we need before bedtime because I don't know about you, but at my house, right before bedtime is when things go crazy, they're running around like maniacs, and I just need it to come down to a level like one instead of the level 10 that it's at. So today we're gonna make that spray. Like everything else we've done, this is super simple, it just takes a few ingredients, um, it's one more small step on your way to a healthier lifestyle, um, living a little bit with more wellness in mind. So let's get started. You will need your spray bottle. That I've already created a little label for this one because this is one of the ones I used last night at the um, event. I make my labels on Avery.com. I buy the labels from Amazon print them at home, it's really easy. They already have templates set up, so if you wanna make things pretty, it's um, not difficult to do that. So you need your spray bottle. We will need distilled water. You will need uh, organic vanilla extract if you have it. You could also, an um, alternative to the vanilla extract is use witch hazel. The vanilla smells nice, so that's why I use vanilla, but witch hazel is uh, an alternative you could choose to do. And the oil we're using today is lavender oil. Now, I don't know if I've talked to you much about uh, the oils that I use. I only use Young Living oils. I believe that they are absolutely the best. To find out more about their standards and protocols and um, you know their whole process, go to seedtoseal.com and read up a little bit on it and you'll know why I find them the absolute best and why I feel like they're the safest for myself, my family, and that's what I use. So there's my little spiel on that. Okay, so we're gonna take our bottle and we're gonna put in 10 drops of lavender. Here we go, I'm gonna count for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There we are, great. Then for um, the vanilla extract, you need about quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon if you need it. I can't open it. I have this little funnel that I use that makes it nice and easy to get in. I'm just eyeballing this, guys. So it does not have to be exact. Like other things, it's not an exact science. Okay, there we go. And then last, all you need is your distilled water. That is it. Sorry, I don't have this poured already. Can you hear my annoying dog? That is my father's dog that I am dog sitting this week, who barks nonstop all day long. Yes, I'm enjoying it thoroughly. So I'll be using this maybe more than just bedtime because I need calming and relaxing 24 hours a day with that guy. Okay, shake it up, shake it before you use it every night. Like I said, spray it on your pillows, spray it on your, your blankets, your, you can even spray it on yourself if you want. It's completely safe. Um, use it for your kids, your husband, whoever needs it most. Um, but another easy step, highly recommend you give this one a try. If anybody ever has any questions, uh, feel free to follow me on Facebook. I'm at Christine Lassiter Nowak. You can look me up on Instagram, CG Lassiter. That's L A S S I T E R. Um, and of course, subscribe here. I have a new video every Wednesday. And tomorrow night, we're going to be showing a, um, uh, an addition, it's kind of a longer class. Myself and Elise of EG Organizing got together to talk about. Uh, organizing the kitchen. She's going to give tips on that and I'm going to talk a little bit about 
uh, cleaning products, making cleaning products based uh, or with essential oils. Um, so a healthy and healthy and organized kitchen. I think that's what we call it. I don't remember. But tune in and I will see you next week. Bye.